of the script because it well, is an iconic Well, movie. I always think um, that should be a movie that stars me. <laughs> Of course, that should be a Nick Fury film. I don't know. You know, um, it's, it, it's uh, Marvel's choice. Um, I'm I'm happy that I had the nine picture deal. I was able to bounce in and out of all these particular films, uh, and 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 create that space for Nick Fury and to 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 be an integral part of what these stories are and how they're told. Um, if that continues, or if they decide to do a Nick Fury film, that'd be great. But. Uh, I start to feel sometimes like, you know, it is a Nick Fury film. I mean, I am the leader of this particular group of people. I do call the shots, you know. I'm not part of the TV show, but hey. I don't know how they can have a CO TV show without me, but they do. <laughs> maybe they can bring you in. Well, maybe I could be like, you know, Charlie and Charlie's Angels. You just hear my voice, you know. I send them out every week or something, you know. Oh Boy is one of my favorite movies, too. So I get the fan kind of, well, why you got to remake it? You know, well, it's a fringe movie for us. You know, there's a, there's a certain fringe of American society that's seen Old Boy, that watched it. You know, it's one of those, it's like the movies I troll through the bins for. You know? um, I would love to do a remake of I Saw the Devil, just because I don't think a lot of people saw it. You know, and you just open up the culture in another kind of way so that if people watch spikes and they like it maybe they'll go back and get the original and look at that too you know it's just a way of opening people's eyes to there were films that were made that you might not have seen that relate to a culture in a specific kind of way and it's a great story awesome story that you know more people need to see